is an honor for me to introduce to you Mr. Lochen Mustalovich uh, uh, Thayolov. Uh, and Mr. Fazilov studied economics and law at the State University of Donshambe, Tajikistan. Tajikistan. He later obtained a master's degree in anti-crisis management of economy from St. Petersburg in Russia. Mr. Fazilov joined the civil service of the government of Tajikistan in 1998. He served in the administration department and had the opportunity to travel to over 20 countries to promote tourism of Tajikistan. Over the span of five years, he managed to obtain 15 intergovernmental agreements on cooperation in the field of tourism. In 2006, Mr. Fazilov was elected vice mayor of the Warzab district in Tajikistan. In 2007, he was posted as a representative to the World Trade Organization in Geneva for one year. He has been holding his current position of Vice Chairman of the Ministry of Tourism of Tajikistan since 2008, and we very much look forward to his perspectives uh, on Tajikistan uh, as a national brand and also how that is best promoted abroad. So ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a very, very warm welcome for Mr. Lochen uh, Nustorovic uh, Fazulov. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Excellency Ambassador, Excellency Minister, representative of our embassy, very, uh, by the way, active embassy uh, among our diplomatic branches abroad. Thank you for Institute for Cultural Diplomacy for inviting us to make a speech. Honestly saying, I am a permanent uh, guest here because this is the second time as I make a speech in this important hall uh, uh, in the front of distinguished and uh, respective uh, listeners of this university. Please don't be surprised when you uh, see my picture in the corridor among the uh, greatest politics of the world because I am becoming uh, popular in Germany. Uh, after presentation of um, Ex His Excellency Ambassador, uh, Mr. Imumidin Mirzoev Satorov, it's difficult to make a speech because he covered uh, everything of tourism. He's really a professional and experienced uh, man. It's horror to be a honor and privilege to be in his company and to be a guest of embassy and a guest of uh, great Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, um, the subject of my presentation will be ecological tourism in Tajikistan. You can uh, you know, imagine about the uh, potential of our country looking at a uh, spectacular picture uh, in my presentation. So the content of my presentation is that tourism is a really key driver of economic developments, particularly for emerging economies. Ecolo ecological tourism and overview, history, facts and figures, and why ecological tourism in Tajikistan? Uh, I will bring you some arguments and some uh, positive activity we have done during these five years. The significance of tourism for the world economy is, you know, a world average of approximately 5% direct and 15% total contribution to GDP is uh, providing by, by tourism industry. 30% of the world exports of services, 90 million tourists worldwide, and 1 billion tourists, uh, World Tourism Organization announced that the, the was uh, reached in February 2013. And I can congratulate you with this uh, very good uh, news after the uh, financial crisis. So uh, I, I can give you some samples. Uh, France, for instance, is uh, for 4% direct and 9% total contribution of tourism to France GDP. If coming uh, just uh, to move to Central Asia, 1% direct and 3% total contribution of tourism to GDP in Kyrgyzstan, the same in, is in our country. Nepal is also similar to Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan in terms of uh, mountaineering uh, opportunities, uh, having a, a big uh, re uh, potential in water resources and so on. Nepal also have a 4% and 9% total contribution to, uh, of tourism to GDP. As you know, uh, Tajikistan is a former Soviet Union country, and thanks to, to the God and to wise uh, policy of our president, His Excellency Omar Rahman, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, he united, he united all, all the country, all the regions speaking in different uh, languages, uh, just became uh, together, and now we build a new country after 1,100 years that uh, in Samani dynasty, in Samani period of time, we had a separate uh, Tajik state, and after this long period of time, 
we had a chance to build a new independent country, uh, sunny, uh, sunny Tajikistan. So in the developing countries, uh, in, in from 48 emerging economies, or, or let's say less developed countries, 20% or uh, for 20 percent of them tourism is a first or second source of export in some developing countries so tourism can account for over 25 percent of GDP from uh, 2015 emerging economies will receive more international tourists than advanced economies the, to develop tourism in Tajikistan means to diversify the economy of our country to develop one, the, one of the main future economic sectors of the country, to generate additional income to state, district, and rural areas. In Tajikistan, uh, more than 50% of population are living in rural areas, 93% of our total territory are covered by mountains, and 22% of our territory announced as a national protect protection zones. You can imagine, yeah? The, to support other sectors to develop uh, alongside the tourism sector, do you know that uh, tourism is giving a positive impact not only to uh, one the, one sector of economy, but also is uh, reflecting positively to uh, to the linked spheres in in, uh, in the economy. To attract domestic and foreign investment, to create to create more jobs in Tajikistan and generate additional personal income, to shape a positive image of Tajikistan worldwide. Is the, the good thing is after the falling down the Soviet wall and uh, 15 countries became independent, uh, Tajikistan uh, started his, his creating the image from zero because in Soviet time we, we had uh, only chance to promote ourselves as a Soviet Union. You know, and uh, people uh, unfortunately don't know a lot about country, but the, the good thing is they don't know a lot instead of knowing a bad thing so we are creating new positive image of our country so ecological tourism in the overview uh, let me tell you may, maybe you have uh, informed just uh, to remind your memory that mr klaus uh, hetzer from uh, from mexico has started a first ecological uh, tour uh, since uh, 1965 in from USA to Mexico and so from Mexico to USA. And now, uh, step year by year, this uh, uh, direction of tourism is becoming uh, more popular uh, worldwide. Ecotourism is defined as responsible travel to natural areas that conserves and the environment and improves the well being of local people. If in, in the capitals you spend uh, 100 euro per day, and this is uh, not a big you know, uh, amount. In the rural areas, 50 euro or 20 euro is a really, really, uh, you know, be, uh, to, to reach this or to earn this money is a big challenge. That's why we pay significant attention to develop uh, tourism in rural areas uh, via ecotourism. The principles are pre minimize impact, build environmental and cultural awareness and respect, provide positive experiences for both visitors and hosts provide direct financial benefits for, for conservation, provide financial benefits and improvements for local people, raise sensitivity to host countries' political, environmental, and social climate. Uh, I will not uh, take uh, much of your time, and if you allow me, I will uh, skip uh, from a few, a few uh, slides of my presentation, and uh, we'll We'll, we'll, we'll begin uh, from uh, Tajikistan experience. Why ecological tourism is important in Tajikistan is especially suited uh, to be developed in rural areas, can be done uh, on small scale, benefiting family businesses and female entrepreneurs, will prevent and take away pressure from environment and local resources, will safeguard biodiversity will raise awareness about sustainability in general among tourists and local population, will answer a growing demand for ecotourism on the world market, can become a driver for a general green economy, can declare ecological tourism its main focus in tourism development. You know, uh, not only uh, ecotourism, but tourism in general is on the stage of development in our country. And our government announced tourism as a priority direction of national economic policy. 
many many reforms have been uh, done or have been made in uh, during these five years. We are uh, the countries that uh, do not register or uh, create do not create any additional barriers for tourists. Whereas the countries that really looking for its uh, niche in the world tourism market, we abolished uh, former Soviet Union barriers such a registration for tourists. You know, uh, de demanding. Uh, um, fee for entering, entering national parks and ecological zones. No restriction is uh, in Tajikistan. You, you visit, you travel in the, uh, independently or by, 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 with the organized group, doesn't matter. Tajikistan is a safe country and uh, if you come, you will feel the legendary hospitality of our people, particularly in rural areas. We can avoid mistakes that have been made uh, elsewhere in the process of developing tourism. I'll tell you, uh, I, was, uh, I was traveling uh, to many uh, countries of the world, but in Nepal and Thailand, uh, our colleagues really uh, you know, uh, face difficulties uh, after uh, developing or letting uh, growing up the mass tourism. Our, our goal is to reach one million tourists, but it should be high spenders. It should be high educated and high and from ecological point of view, uh, people who by their visit will not destroy, but will assist people to protect our nature. Can preserve the, the main resource for its tourism product, its pristine, uh, pristine nature and its culture. Can distinguish uh, itself from its competitors. The, our competition, our competitive, uh, you know, uh, privileges in the Central Asia region or in in the world as well, uh, are three main factors. Tajikistan is the only country speaking in the former Soviet Union Persian by Persian language. Tajikistan covered by 93% uh, covered by mountains. And third factor is legendary uh, hospitality of Tajik people. Even if you go and uh, don't know anybody in Tajikistan and uh, ask him a question, they don't speak English at, at all. As, uh, for, uh, English just for new generation is really, you know, uh, the language they like. But as a former Soviet Union, we speak Persian and Russian as a second language. Even they don't understand what you speak about, you will explain them what you need and they will accompany you. If you enter the Tajik house, they will share last bread or last cup of you know, dish, uh, last uh, plate of dish with you as a guest. As a, every uh, uh, foreigner visiting our country, we consider as a personal guest. This is a philosophy of our hospitality. And I, I want to, if you allow me to conclude my uh, presentation with uh, thanking you to, uh, for paying attention uh, for my, to my presentation. Uh, please uh, come to Tajikistan, feel our friendship. You know, the wonders uh, of uh, tourism. Yeah, I can tell you one very good story of, uh, of, uh, from tourism industry. The wonders of tourism, it's called. You can uh, have a breakfast in London, you can, uh, and then you can have a dinner in Paris and find your luggage in Buenos Aires. Uh, that's why uh, I, I wish you travel uh, very actively. Please visit Tajikistan and feel our friendship. Thanks so much.